Alright, how's it going? My name is Stephen Costigan for uh, COM310 Final Project. Uh, so this is my, my design website for COM310 and uh, the idea behind it is for, for relief of animals during bushfires. Um, my family were deeply affected by the Australian bushfires and so I created a website based on that premise where an organisation could could accept volunteers and people could go out in where it's safe anyway to go and, and save animals where they could and that these animals could be cared for by a, a professional organisation. So the, the main points are the rescue efforts that th this organisation is making, the success is that the, how this organisation defines success and then how you can volunteer to your time. So those are the three main points. Uh, my design decisions, I decided to kind of uh, do a little bit of repetition in, in that I've got two sections and then a full length, two sections, full length, two sections and full length I guess with the footer but it helps to kind of break up the, the a block of text and so it allows you to, to read it for readability as well. In mobile view I have it's very similar where you've got you know you can scroll through and there's all the buttons and it's just kind of full width and I've also got the side button as well. So yeah, that's that's what that is. Um, in terms of the the main parts of the website, so the hardest part for me. Um, so I tried. I, I obviously have some experience with HTML and CSS, and so I tried a new method of I guess page organization. You know, you normally have like flex and grid, but I messed around with uh, CSS tables, which is different from HTML tables, but. Um, and that was what I mostly used for all of my layouts, which I think turned out pretty good and I'm going to have to use that some more. So it was something I just kind of tried myself and, and uh, you know, kind of challenged myself with just to make sure I could, uh, I guess, expand my knowledge. Because um, I've actually, yeah, done quite a bit of HTML and CSS in the past. So that was something I challenged myself with. Um, and so that was probably what I learned the most making this website was just about uh, doing that and so forth. So yeah, that, that's all I've got on this. Um, thanks for watching.